To start the Satellite Explorer program, press on the Satellite Explorer tile. When the program comes up, you'll see a tracking map up here. Our location is shown by the bright yellow square. The location of the currently selected satellite is shown by the black circle. And the heading of the satellite is shown by the green arrow. If you want to see more, check the track box, which is down here. And this adds the track for the current pass, which is shown by the dashed dark green lines. And it shows the area of coverage by a bright green line enclosing a lighter colored center area. The information is shown graphically up here and in text form down below. The usual azimuth elevation and so on are displayed. Uh, English units are used unless you check the metric checkbox, which is, which is right here, in which case things switch to the metric units. To set your location, click on the Set Location box. Again, your location is shown by the yellow square. You have three ways to set your location. You can click on the Auto Locate button, which will use the Windows Geolocation Services to identify your location. When you click on that button, the latitude and longitude that the Geolocation Service returns is displayed here. If you wish to use those values, just click on this button. You can also enter your latitude and longitude into these uh, text boxes and then click the Use Latitude Longitude button. Or you can enter in a four or six character grid locator and click on the Use Grid button. When you're through setting your location, press the Done button. The satellites are organized into groups. So the first step in picking a satellite is to pick the group. And you can pick whatever group you want. And once you've picked your group, the satellites that are located in that group are displayed in the sat name pull-down box. So, so to switch to a different satellite or space station, simply press on the desired satellite name here. Uh, there's also a favorites list. And there are a large number of satellites out there. And sometimes keeping them all organized can be difficult. So you can put things into your favorites group if you wish. And currently, we have the International Space Station in our favorites group. To add another satellite to that group, simply go to the group that contains the satellite you wish to use, uh, select that satellite, and click on the Favorites Add button. A little prompting message is displayed. So if we now go back to the favorites group, we'll see that it includes the International Space Station that was there before and the one that we've just added. When you're in the favorites group, you can delete a satellite from the group by simply pressing on the favorites remove button. A little prompt shows up telling you what's going to happen and you Press on this button if you want to remove it, or press on the Cancel button if you don't wish to. If you delete all the satellites from the Favorites group, uh, the Favorites group won't show up to 
uh, add a satellite to the favorites group after it's gone, this procedure is exactly the same as before. So if we delete this from our favorites group, you can see there are no favorites, but we add, or if we add, by pressing on the favorites add button, a satellite to the favorites group, the favorites group will once again appear. There's also help available. If you press the help button, it shows up over here. You can scroll through here and, and get any sorts of additional information that you may require. When you're done reading the help, just click on this button, the help button again. Uh, this app also has a pass list function. And the pass list function is used to determine passes that will be coming up where the satellite will actually be within range of your location. So to do that, first pick the satellite you're interested in. So we'll just use this uh, AO7 satellite that's currently selected. You can pick the number of days that you wish this to be done for. Uh, you can set a minimum elevation. If you set a minimum elevation in this box here, only passes above that elevation will be displayed. If you want the uh, pass generated, simply click on the Start button. And here we can see the passes for the next four days displayed. If you wish the results displayed with UCT times and date, simply click on the UTC box and press the Start button again. If you want to make any other changes, say to the name of the satellite or the number of days or the minimum elevation, make those changes as you wish and then simply press on the Start button again. Uh, that pretty much covers the operation. The program is fairly simple. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy the program.